this video we are going to talk about the first stage of labor now the first stage of labor starts with the true labor pains and ends into the cervical dilatation fully the full cervical dilatation means 10 cm of dilatation now the process of first stage that starts with uterine contractions ends with cervical dilatation full the events in this stage is not equal all the time that's why we divide this phase sorry is this stage into two different phases the first one is latent phase and the second one is active phase why we divide this thing if you see in the initial events in the initial time of the first stage we need four things that should be fulfilled the first thing is what we need adequate uterine contraction we need cervical effacement we need initial cervical dilatation we need back of membrane so this this four things it actually takes time it's not a matter of two or three hours or even four hours it's a matter of at least 12 13 14 15 16 up to 20 hours so when we talk about the first stage of labor this big phase initial phase is very important to establish a labor but once the labor is established once the labor enters into the active phase then it is very 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 speedy it takes the speed so uh, for the sake of definition we have uh, we have told that the latent phase is what up to 5 cm of cervical dilatation and the active phase is after 5 cm dilatation what is the normal ranges of this all the latent phase if we talk about nulliparous woman average latent phase is 12 hours but yes it can go up to 20 hours when we got it when we call the prolongation of latent phase in nulliparous woman this means the latent phase is even more than 20 hours the values for the multiparous woman is what 8 hours i have told you the very concept but again i am telling the concept that the latent phase is all about cervical effacement initial cervical dilatation and setting of very rhythmic regular intensive uterine contractions while the active phase is what about it's about full cervical dilatation it's all about cervical descent sorry uh, head this fetal head descent into the pelvis and passing of the head into the pelvis this is what is active phase so what is the normal range in active phase the rate of cervical dilatation it should be minimum minimum one centimeter per hour Okay, it should be more than 1.1 cm per hour. If we particularly talk about nulliparous women, it should be more than 1.2 cm per hour. If we talk about multiparous women, it should be more than 1.5 cm per hour. That means that the active phase in multiparous women should be very quick. Okay. When we start considering the active phase after 5 to 6 cm dilatation, so you know this thing that if the rate is minimum is one centimeter then the active phase should complete in maximum four hours four to five hours preferably in the liberous woman it should be at least two to three hours and in multiparous women it should be maximum two hours now what are the reason for this prolongations for latent phase prolongation as we told you that in nulliparous women more than 20 hours and in 
multi-parents women more than 8 hours sorry more than 14 hours it, it's when we call it as a prolongation of latent phase and the reason behind that is obviously not good cervical effacement poor cervical dilatation the uterine contraction are not true they are false and again what is the treatment well it's not a very dangerous situation you need to do is monitor the fetal and health uh, mother health in the vitals you need to maintain hydration of mother and fetus give the mother fluids iv fluids along with monitoring of the fetus okay and when you find it that the labor is not true it is a false labor you need to do adequate rest to the woman you need to give muscle relaxants like buscopan now if the active phase is prolonged then that is a dangerous thing when the active phase is prolonged that means that there is something that creates the problem between the head of the fetus to pass into the maternal pelvis. So, what are the causes? It can be cephalopelvic disproportion. It can be bad fetal positions like occipital posterior position. You need to rule out all these things. Once you rule out all these things, now you know that, that the only thing is what? The adequate uterine contraction is not there or the labor is not actually very set. So what you need to do is you need to do two or three things like artificial rupture of membrane. If you do artificial rupture of membrane that makes in intense uterine contraction. The contractility of uterine contraction is also increased as well as the duration. So the labor actually sets in. If you find that the uterine contraction are not adequate you need to add oxytocin but yes continuously you need to monitor the fetal status when you, when you do artificial rupture of membrane what you find is uh, you can actually see the uh, amniotic fluid whether there is meconium or not on uh, the bloody mucus or not everything you can see bloody amniotic fluid everything everything you can see in this amniotic fluid once you do rupture of membrane so this is how you manage the active phase of labor. In rare, uh, in some conditions, that happens is a rest of the labor in first stage, and that is my friend very big, big problem, and that is very big dangerous also. When you call it that the labor is pro uh, arrest in only first stage, because the arrest of the labor, it happens mostly in second stage. But only some thing, sometimes the arrest of the labor happens in even in first stage. And when you call it that it is an arrest, first of all, you need to remember this thing the cervical dilatation should be at least more than 6 cm. It should be artificially ruptured membrane. If the uterine contraction are not good, you have to add the oxytocin. If all these measures you have already taken and still the labor is not progressing, then you make the diagnosis of arrest labor. And the management and the treatment of the arrest of labor is nothing but the caesarean section. Meanwhile, you are preparing for the caesarean section, you need to remember, you need to very remember that you need to continuously monitor the fetal status. Meanwhile, uh, sending the patient to the OT. This is my friend, clears the first stage of the labor. Thank you.